Hi everybody, Keith Norum here at Masumi Sake, high in the mountains of beautiful Nagano Prefecture, which, as you know, was the home of the 1998 Winter Olympic Games. Today, I'm here to introduce you to this new line of color-coded sakes. These sakes are the flagships of a whole new look for the Masumi brand and new flavor profiles that are based on new variations of our famous number seven sake yeast. First out of the gates is a Jinmai called Kaya. Now, Kaya means a kind of warm brown color like that of straw in the fall. Again, Kaya is a Jinmai, and so we only lightly polished it to 70% remaining of the rice. So you get this beautiful sweet grain aspect from our local Nagano sake rice. The aromas in Kaya are very mild again, but you get some beautiful cereal character and you also get an interesting sweet cream aspect from the lactic. You also find a little bit of fruit, uh, think of strawberries. In the palate, Kaya has Again, an expanding cereal character along with what we call umami, which is savoriness. So it pairs really well with savory foods like stewed mushrooms, roast pork, or roast beef. Kaya is a great all-round sake. You can have it chilled or you can warm it up. Personally, I think it's great warm in a ceramic cup. I would suggest 45 degrees C, which is about 110 Fahrenheit. Okay. Next up is shiro, which means white. Now this is a junmai ginjo sake, and shiro white has this bright acidity in the palate and is very light, so you can enjoy it all night. You think of it as our session sake. Shiro, because it's a ginjo, has some beautiful fruit aromas. Again, you get an aroma of banana, and that leads into a very soft pear. In the palate as well, you get soft fruit and you get a creaminess coming in again from the lactic acid in, in, the, in the product. You also get a beautiful bright acidity and this bright acidity really carries it across. One other thing is the lightness and that's because this sake is only 12% alcohol. Now most sakes are 15, 16 and above. So this is a light sake both in its um, palate and in its alcohol. But it does have beautiful umami characteristics, so it pairs very well across a broad menu. Um, its lightness means you can pair it with uh, things like tofu and sesame dressing or steamed vegetables. And its bright acidity means that you can go a little bit denser, maybe toward uh, fish or pork or other proteins. Um, I prefer to have uh, shiro chilled in a crystal stemware, but you can also have it warm if you like. Next up is this one. Now this is called kudo, which means black. And that color fits the character of this sleek and dry Junmai Ginjo to a T. It fits like a black silk dress or a tuxedo with a dry martini. Uh, kudo has a beautiful Ginjo aroma and it brings up green banana that moves into a ripening sweetness of apples. In the palate as well, that sweet apple gets a little bit more sharp, like an apple skin, and you start to notice the uh, beautiful umami characteristics, that's savory, and then it comes to a beautiful dry close. It's a great conversation finishing. Now, kuro is great when you want to have something a little bit dressed up in crystal. I would recommend it with uh, sashimi or with raw oysters. It's fantastic with green vegetables, citrus salads, stuff like that. And it works really well with the creamy aspect. For example, seafood in a cream herb sauce. Fantastic. Now, finally, we've got this one. This is called Aka, and that means, yep, you guessed it, red. Now, Aka is also a Jumai Ginjo, but it's very special. It's a Jumai Ginjo Yamahai. When you get the aromas, you notice not only this fruit characteristics of most ginjos, but you notice more of that lactic character, almost like young, soft cheese. Now, this lactic character comes from the fact that this is a Yamahai sake. Now, Yamahai is an older method that relies on producing the lactic acid naturally in the fermentation tank. 
Uh, all of these characteristics mean that this sake has great complexity, so you can pair it with heavier, stronger foods. You can go with barbecued ribs. You can go with roasted chicken and roasted uh, vegetables. It's a, it's a great sake. And although you can have it chilled, I would recommend having aka warmed up in a nice cup. About 45 C again, that's about 110 Fahrenheit. So that's the lineup. Now I want to tell, tell you a little bit about the uh, design, which is going to be featured on all of our newer sakes. This design features uh, this motif, and this is actually an ivy leaf. The ivy leaf is part of the Miyasaka family crest, and that ivy leaf is reflecting on the mirror-like surface of a full cup of sake. Now, the mirror image connects with the Masumi brand, which is named after an ancient treasure here called Masumi no Kagami, or the Mirror of Truth. There you go. So that's the truth about this four-color line. I'm sure you'll enjoy these flagships as soon as they arrive at a port near you. Thank you and kampai.